shame on me for never being here before. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Claremont Gardens, owned by the National Trust. Just half hour from home, just uh, north of Cobham. Lovely lake, never been here before. We have a little walk around. I mean, it's a landscape garden on Mo. I'm not particularly a landscape garden person. I thought it's a beautiful day, sun shining. Let's go and have a wander. You've got Paynes Hill Park just down the road at Cobham, which I did a video from last year, which I'll link below. Yeah, it's a really nice walk here. I say I've never been here before. Um, something new, isn't it? Grotto, fantastic. We've got a great grotto over at Paynes Hill Park, which is man made, and you can obviously walk into it, it's really cool. So, Claremont Gardens was created by the great landscape architects of the 18th century. 49 acres here, 49 acres. The National Trust took it over in the 20th century. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. Lots of screaming kids out with their mums and dads, which is fine. At least they're not staring at a screen like you are now watching this. Okay, that goes around the lake, but we're going that way. Looking up to uh, Belvedere Tower and the Thatched Cottage. There's some little follies, I think, here in uh, Claremont Park. The nice lady in the kiosk said that there's actually two trails you can do. You can do a circular one around the lake, which is like 20 minutes or go up to the, as I say, to the tower and I see the school from there which is about 45 minutes, we're doing that one I'll show you a bit more This is Camilla Terrace Camilla Terrace, everyone just comes and chills out looks at the view. Uh, I think it's this way actually, we go up to the, we'll see the tower. Yeah, sorry the sun's in my eyes, but there's Belvedere Tower. Shame you can't get up to it. Well, maybe it's vandalism, I don't know, but uh, or people doing naughty things. But yeah, we're not going up there, but that's Belvedere Tower. So I've got my bearings right, Isha's just up there, about a mile, two mile and a half, and Cobham's down there about three miles. And we've got lunch in the Fair Lawn, I think it's called, just outside Cobham, which would be nice. Yeah, you can see Heathrow Airport from here, which one you won't pick up on the camera, unfortunately. This is the North Terrace. There's a main road going down there, which has come, come down from Isha. Um, yeah. Cobham. I used to work in Cobham many years ago. All this land was acquired in 1714 and the landowners then invited these architects and landscapers to come in and design the garden over many years. Used to be a farm before then <laughs> Not any longer. This is Tin Pan Alley. Tin Pan Alley. I'm so sorry. The sun's really bright today, so it's uh, whiting out the picture a little bit. It's not have some sunny weather. We've had a real. This summer's been a bit meh. Um, but you know, there's a heat wave that's becoming. Um, and that might go into September. Bleached out, but this is the viewpoint down to the lake, the artificial lake. Yeah. <laughs> 
เพ็มพ่อเลยทีนี้คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอทเจนี่คือคอ Of a garden, largest amphitheatre in Europe. It's protected now. It's Grade One lifted, and it's protected, so you can't go up to, close to it. But yeah, nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been to Claremont Gardens before. It's been very nice. I mean, it's not that big, but um, it's a lovely walk and great. For, so, there's so many families here, which is fantastic. Enjoying the sun, getting some vitamin D. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that little walk around uh, Claremont Gardens. It's a lovely hot day. Before we have uh, lunch at the Fair Mile, the Fair Mile Pub, I'm going to take you somewhere first. Something Victorian. Something very small. So this is the little village of West End, opposite Claremont. A bit scattered, but I saw it on the map. Some nice cottages there, so I thought we'd uh, have a quick look while we're here before lunch. It's a lovely pond. Don't know if it's artificial or not. I don't think so. It's a lovely pond in the middle of the of the village. And this lovely little church, St George's in West End. Very sweet. We've got a problem with the door, I think. A nice little pathway around to the back, which I think has got a few. Oh no, just a garden of sort of remembrance, really. Lots of planes going over. We're sort of in a mishmash between the Gatwick and Heathrow flight path. Um, but hey. Just wait for that <laughs> van to pass. So yeah, just a quick look at this lovely little church here in West End. As I say, not the West End, another West End. And uh, now we're going to go down to the Fair Mile for lunch. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So a lovely lunch at the Fair Mile. I had a chicken, ham, and uh, hock pie, which is delicious. So uh, very much uh, recommend this place. It's on the road from Cobham going up to Isha. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the little video from Claremont Gardens. Uh, lovely uh, little walk around that. Lovely, beautiful day today. Hope you're having a great day as well. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. 
and we'll see you next time. Take care.